Hey guys, so for those of you that are interested, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a valve seal uh, removal tool. So first step is to just find a piece of steel. I'm just using an angle iron here and cutting off just a little square. This is, show you right here, this is all you need, just a little piece of steel like this um, to start with. Then you can start to cut it out and shape it. Here I'm just using one of the valve seals to just kind of get an idea how wide I want the tool to be. So you want the tool to be um, not as wide as the valve seal tool so that it will rest on the edges of the valve seal when you're pulling it out. Next step is to remove the section that you have marked out. And I'm just using a cheap angle grinder here, one that you can get from any store. So with the angle grinder, um, that was just the rough cut, but to get a nice finish and to kind of clean up all those rough edges, um, I'm using a die grinder here. It's got a diamond, nice diamond round bit so you can get it in there and get a nice finish like that. Next step is to find a bolt and a nut. Um, not too big, just something similar to this. I think an M6, an M8, something like that. And you just want a bolt that threads into the nut and you want to set that on your tool like this. And that's going to make the magic of the tool. So you're going to want to hold it there and then tack weld the nut onto it. I thread the bolt into the nut while welding to make sure that no sparks um, go down into the threads of the nut and it also gives you something to hold on to when you do your tack welds as well. So once the nut is welded on there, then you can just start to trim the tool all the way down so that all you have left is basically the diameter of the nut on there as well as the opening that you made that will actually be the part that goes underneath the valve seal. So just using my bench grinder here to clean up the back edge there. You don't need to do this, but just kind of gives it a nice finished edge, no sharp edges. You can grind it like this and take it down. You could also use your, um, your angle grinder, like your hand grinder that I used at the beginning with the grinding disc on there as well, but uh, this is a lot safer to do it this way than trying to hold both at the same time, especially when it's something so small. So this is the finished product all cleaned up, uh, ready to go, ready to be used. So if you have a slide hammer or something similar, some kind of a tool, that's what you need for this to work. You can slide the bolt first through um, an attachment like this in the slide hammer. 
then thread it onto your nut and I used an allen key so you can kind of it has a narrow head this type of bolt so you can it fits inside and you can still tighten it down tighten it down a little bit So this is just a warning if you have a slide hammer like this you don't want to use this end that I'm showing you because that end protrudes out like that when you go to thread it on um, this piece on the left there you only get two three threads and that's not going to be strong enough that's not going to hold so what I ended up doing was actually switching it to the other side which you didn't see here um, and the other side was basically straight so you could get on six seven eight however many threads enough to keep it strong and not strip it on your first time taking a valve seal off so first time using the tool slide the tool underneath the valve seal you want to remove and basically just hammer up make sure you're kind of not hitting anything next to it and just uh, give it a couple good wax and it should pop right off. So when installing the new valve seals, you just want to make sure you clean the surface that the old seal was on, take any of that rubber off, clean it with a rag, make sure there's no pieces of the rag left, and you'll be okay. Uh, take your new seal, put a little bit of just normal engine oil on the surface that the seal is going to go on. You can stick it either on the part it will go on or on the inside of the seal itself, as you see here, and just push it straight down and you can use a 10 millimeter socket it's the right size fits just around the outside and push straight down and you'll feel a little bump as the seal goes down and once it can't go down any further you know you're good and the seal is in all the way <laughs> 